Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're looking at a very strange game called Tape Dream. Um, I'm gonna have to just read you the description a little bit here because I don't even know where to begin. I think this is some sort of like a first person puzzle adventure kind of maybe horror-ish type of game. Um, here we go. So, I was in a strange building. Seemed like a warehouse turned flea market. It seemed really big even though I only remember a few rooms. Most of it was spent in a room with a few supposed B-movie stars in a trashed room. <laughs> we were watching a few VHS movies in enormous boxes. I got them from the market area of the building, which took up most of the rooms I visited, some of which were really cheap and had obscured psychedelic-feeling art. Uh, one was $800, and I felt like I remembered the movie, like it was something I had wanted for a long time. It was in a large black box apart from the rest with neon brush marks. I couldn't afford it though. One of the B-movie stars was a head with his skeleton hanging out and a few organs. I was probably thinking of a layak? I don't remember much about the movie, but it was focused on rainbow goop. Kind of like street trash, I guess. That's capitalized. Each room had a large window but they were closed, so I could only see because they were dim lit lights some places. Okay, that's the description. Uh, you can see how I would be attracted to this sort of thing. Um, very tempting, right? What is that supposed to be? I don't even know what we're going to do in this game. Maybe it's just like an exploratory crazy thing. Can I touch this? Is it going to kill me? Anybody's guess. Uh, I can't jump. As far as I can tell, I can look around with the mouse and WASD to move. Seems to be fire pretty much everywhere. We've got a very interesting dude on the wall here. Um, the lamps sort of look like some sort of beakers or graduated cylinders or something. I don't know what you call them. Uh, is this a door? Looks a little bit like Voxelstein over here. Sort of a creepy painting on the wall. There's some ambient sound going on before. I think it might be done, though. Unfortunately, maybe you missed it. It sort of sounded like a bunch of metal scraping on other metal. Uh, I'm interested in what this might be. If I were to find one of these, I would be definitely intrigued. Uh, you know, just sitting on a table, like, okay, you're a sprite, clearly. You're a... Oh. Did I do that? Oh my god. I guess that would be one of the B-movie stars, huh? That's horrible. I don't like it. Let's go over here. Um, hopefully that thing doesn't try and kill me. But then again, if I was that thing, I would probably try and kill everyone. That looks like an old VCR, maybe, or like an old Mac, or a... Uh, some sort of a tape deck, like an ADAT machine or something. Um, psychedelic looking chairs. Alright, so I'm starting to see where the description's fitting in. What is this supposed to be, a radiator? Interesting. It's very blocky, I mean, clearly. We're dealing with an older... Well, no, we're not dealing with an older style engine because this is done in Unity, which has become my like, call to action every time I do one of these videos, like, hey, look, another Unity game. Um, I guess maybe I need to go in there. Something. Um, there's a door over here, okay. That thing is just very alarming. Uh, is stuff gonna change some more? Or is this the whole experience? I feel like I need to mess with it a little bit. Does it have a face? Is that a face? Okay, the way it moves is kind of creeping me out as well. I can tell it's just sort of poorly animated, but at the same time, it's just creepy enough. And there's like sets of eyes all over it. This texture on its body is just horrendous. I mean, not in necessarily a bad way, although it is kind of a bad way too. Uh, and it's breathing. Oh. Yeah. What's uh what's up with this thing? This has to be something, right? Maybe this is the next artifact that I'm supposed to stare at and then maybe stuff will change some more. 
I am trying to press buttons just in case there's like a secret use button that I'm not aware of. I don't think there is though. Also curious what's down these passageways. I, I don't think I can interact or do anything with them, but I'm just curious anyway. This pile of rubble over here sort of reminds me of Shadow Man when the, uh, the butcher guys with the hook, the pigmen, they're like beaten away at some kind of flesh pile. Uh, maybe just obscure reference, I don't know. Um, is there anything else to do here? Are we running out of options already? Is this the whole thing? Tape Dream Man, you're freaking me out. Oh, it's got that image floating up into the fire. Yeah, there's a lot of mention of psychedelic stuff. I mean, I've seen a little bit, but I feel like it's lacking. What is this supposed to be? Maybe that's one of the videotapes that's supposed to... Yeah, they were watching videotapes, I remember. And a celebrity came out. I believe they said out of a closet. Maybe he did come out of a closet, I don't know. Um, Alright, I feel like we're maybe not going to see much else here. I'm a little disappointed because it was just getting weird enough that I was starting to enjoy it. Um, there's not a whole lot I can really do to change that, I guess. If there is more to this game, I'd like to see it. But that's probably going to be about your last... Oh! The fog went away. Have I spent enough time here? Just as I was saying, this is going to be your last chance. It's like the game heard me. Maybe that's what's so Indian crazy about this game. Like, it's uh, it's got some sort of voice recognition uh, system going on in it. And it could tell that I was talking about it. And it adapts based on the tone of my voice. You know, he said his skeleton and some organs were hanging out. This is a little bit more than that. This is some next level craziness here. This is like beyond Silent Hill a little bit. I mean, it's a little less horrifying when the thing is just kind of standing there. Not really trying to bother anybody, just sort of animating in place. But, you know, if that thing wanted to follow me, there's not a whole lot I could do about it. I'd be pretty freaked out. So is this actually the end? I mean, I, I was waiting for the fog to go away. The fog did go away. And it doesn't seem like anything else changed. I was really hoping maybe another room would open up. Maybe this door becomes accessible. Who knows. So uh, as we are left, you know, as often is the case with Indie Impressions videos, uh, since I'm going into these blind, I'm not always sure exactly what we're going to get out of it. It's an experimental thing. Uh, we're here for an experience. I don't know exactly what the hell we just experienced, but... I guess we're living through someone's dream. Um, if I had dreams like this, well, you know, I probably do have dreams somewhat like this. Maybe not quite exactly like this, but definitely scary. Uh, but I would definitely not want to hang out in them. And I probably wouldn't make a game about it, but that's just me. Maybe I would. I don't know. I haven't really thought about this very hard. I guess you could do worse things and make games out of your dreams. Lots of people do that, and they come up with some very cool ideas that way. So this thing seems to have been... It's resigned to just hang out over here by this... Uh, what do you want to call this thing? I wanted to say it looked like a tree stump, but looking at it more, I don't know, it sort of looks like a sack overflowing with flour. But then there's like a seam on top of it, so I don't know. Maybe it's a drum? Maybe it's a very strange shaped mushroom? It's anybody's guess. So, I guess we're going to wrap this one up since it seems like we're not going anywhere. I tried to give it as much time as possible just in case it decided to uh, change up or something. So we'll give you an extreme close-up of this thing as we wrap up this episode. Uh, so thank you again for watching another episode of Indie Impressions. This has been Tape Dream, not Tape Worm, although similarly weird. Uh, and remember to head on over to www.indie-impressions.com where the uh, shows, all the episodes get aggregated. Uh, you can check out all the stuff that's going on, any news updates. Uh, we have a forum. You can meet some cool people, check out some crazy games like this, maybe ones that have a little bit more depth or substance to them, but you never know. You know, we take the good with the bad. We try out everything we can get our hands on here and 
There's some hits and some misses. I wouldn't say this is a complete miss, but it's definitely not really a game. It's more of like just a crazy, weird project. I don't know. It's a uh, digital media. It's what it is. So hopefully you enjoyed this look into a little bit of insanity today. Uh, I will try to find one with a little bit more depth tomorrow, uh, because as is the case every day, I do another episode. So come on back. Hit me up on YouTube, check out my Twitter, Facebook, I got all of them, they're all linked right through the YouTube page or through the website, whatever tickles your fancy. And I hope to see you on one of those or all of those different places. Oh, the fog is back. The fog is back. I guess it is time to go though, guys, so thank you again for watching, I will see you tomorrow for another one. Have a lovely night, and don't let this thing scare you. It might show up in your room, who knows. Later!